Welcome to the Den of Debauchery. Welcome, Jordan, and other person that we will refer to as Junior. Junior. And he is keeping his full name anonymous, which I think is a good decision based on some of the stories that he plans to tell today. Because, dear God, just reading the description has me actually scared to sit in this room with you. But <laughs> we're, I say we quit wasting time and jump right into it. What was uh, what was the first thing that you wanted to tell, man? Well, this is more about a, a friend of ours, a mutual friend of ours, right? Yes, definitely. It was a good time. Uh, we were back in high school in these days. Okay. And me and my buddy, we'd always hang out. Uh, you guys want me to say his name, or you can use first name, first name, and first so, name. Me only. and my buddy, his name was Jake. Um, good what's friends. His, what's his name now? Um, I think <laughs> he still goes by Jake. Oh, okay. Still goes by it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but you know, we always get fucked up and have a really good time. And he liked this girl, and this girl was named Haley, and she was like a fucking goddess. Like, I'm talking. I mean. Like, one of those hippie girls you see at one of those, like, 1975 parties. She's amazing. Am I right? Just so you know, though. I can't wait. wait, I can't wait till she hears this. Hey, just so you know, she's never going to hear this. (laughs) So you're you're complimenting someone that's never going to listen. But I just wanted to paint the picture. By the way, in case you ever hear this, I just wanted to say you're a fucking goddess and I worship you. (laughs) I'll drink your fucking bathwater. I'll let you shit on my chest. No. Yeah. Um, Tasty. But I just wanted to paint the picture for all the listeners okay, out so there. So it was worth whatever he's about to go through, right? Yes, yes. Okay. So we're all hanging out. We're getting drunk and having a really fucking good time, you know, doing shit what kids should do before, you know, they grow up and be adults. Get it out of your system. We're hanging out. <laughs> we're hanging out in her basement. She has like this crazy ass fucking stepdad who I think probably touches her, but who knows? Again. Okay. All right. <laughs> what? Good what? thing we're calling you him Junior. You don't. You don't just get to gloss past that statement like you didn't make it and be like, I think he touches her. But anyway, moving on. What evidence do you no, have that supports that's that? Let's not even get into yes. this. Hold on. It has that zero could be a merit. Whole other no. Yeah. There's zero merit to it. Yeah. That's it just it gives you that creepy vibe. You're just, you're just blindly you accusing somebody of child molesting <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> I guess that sounds pretty we, bad. Don't exactly. It? You're not thinking about. You're thinking about. All right, I'll you. take that. Yeah, I'll take that back. I don't. I never seen. There's no evidence of that. I, never, I was never there either. I did not film it. I just yeah. want the record to reflect that I was not there. I recant I, I my do statement. Not, I I do not recall, Your Honor. I do not recall. There'll, be a, there'll be a lot. Of I do not recall at the end of all these stories. <laughs> so. So we're hanging out in this basement, and we're having a great time. You know, I liked the girl, too. Like, I wanted to do things with her, too, but I got beat to the point with my buddy Jake. I wasn't fighting it because I had that arrogance of, you know, fuck, she ain't going to be into him. All right, whatever. Let him fuck up. So she's totally into him, so I was totally wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> so we're sitting there, and it's getting later in the night, and this is when the good shit happened. So I'm sleeping on this other fucking couch that's a little bit away from him. And I'm thinking to myself, man, I really wish I was on that fucking pull-out couch because there's some fun things going on there. Right, and, and Jake, ca- ain't pu- Jake ain't pulling out. Yeah, yeah, he ain't pulling the couch out, is the actually. only thing that's pulling out. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if they were like inserting or whatever. They were under a blanket. But they were it's definitely what, what a great term. Yeah. To, I don't know if they were like penetrating or like what they were doing. If they were doing Insert. insertion. insertion. This is amazing. Junior. If they were engaging in coitus, I'm not really sure. So... But shit was moving underneath the blanket, so I know they were doing something. And then you start hearing that. Oh, is this is this right is that in the microphone? Stop! Oh. Yeah, you hear? That's what I'm hearing. I'm just I'm letting you guys get in that moment with me. So, so okay, close so this your is eyes. What you're listening to and just <laughs> get in that everybody, moment. Everybody, close your eyes and listen you're to in his a pussy cold, noises. Cold basement. And no, it was you're a, making up. <laughs> it was a. Nice fall evening. I've never been less hard. <laughs> but no, so we're down there and we're hanging out on this couch. And I'm you start- don't get turned on by cold basements. <laughs> I'm starting to go, you know, to sleep. I can't come in anything above sixty degrees. And she, they have this pet cat, and it's like a little tiny kitten. And the mom said, "If you guys are going to be down in the basement, watch out for kittens." 
I don't know why they called it kittens. It's, it was a kitten, but her name was kittens. You ever named a cat after it? Like it's, you, it's you get all puppy form. and call it a fucking puppies? Hey, that's puppies. Yeah, that's puppies. We're, get, we're getting way off track. Yeah, yeah. It's anyway, a cat. there's but a still. cat, and it's a tiny little one. And she said, watch out for it. You know, don't fucking kill it. You step on it, you'll, you know, you'll kill it. We're like, all right, whatever. So, I did not know that that warning was needed. Yeah. <laughs> right, but it yeah. definitely was. So <laughs> Don't murder the cat, please. Thank you. So he's fucking doing his thing, and all of a sudden I hear this, boom. This fucking thump. He falls off the couch. Okay. Haley doesn't move. Was she sleeping or she just didn't? Well, at this point, I think they were both sleeping. Okay. And he, this is a small couch, so he rolls off and you hear the thump. So I kind of wake up and I hear Jake down there going, Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. And he starts, Oh, fuck. Junior. Junior. And I go, What? He's like, Dude. Dude, I go, dude, what? And he goes, I think I killed Kitten. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, no, you fucking didn't. And he goes, yeah. He fell off the couch. So and I'm looking. Cat. He smashed the cat. He yeah. smashed the cat. He smashed his fucking ass, smashed the cat. Now, it was such a hard impact that you did not hear the cat have a last word. It did not scream out. It didn't, nothing. He smothered it so, in Christ. So this. I get up and I go over there to look at it. Like, where is Kittens? Like, oh fuck, Haley's going to be pissed. I mean, that's her favorite pet. <laughs> so the cat's not there anymore. I go, where'd you put it? He goes, I stuffed it under the couch. <laughs> I go, no, you did. He goes, yeah. And you see this blood trail of this fucking cat underneath this couch. I say, pull it out. I want to fucking see it. And he uh, grabs a little tail, uh, slides it out, and I'm like, oh my God, I wanted to puke. At this time, uh, Haley's still not up. And her cat's still sound asleep dead. <laughs> sound asleep dead. <laughs> so sound he's asleep like sleep dead. He's like going to get bleach or something. Do we need to clean this up? I go, I ain't we we ain't cleaning nothing up, dude. You killed the cat. You go clean up and then I'm Junior's gonna climb, about to go. Then I'm gonna climb in on that couch and get my time. <laughs> <laughs> but so the cat was just murdered you're yeah. still thinking about it getting your yeah. dick wet yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ he was in high school you yeah. just witnessed a murder <laughs> so he killed this cat oh my and god and still to this day oh it my eats, god it's eats at him you don't like it being brought up oh. but he took a life away of that kitten <laughs> he took now, a life away when he shoved it underneath Wait, the couch it still had eight left though right supposedly but his weight must have just killed all eight <laughs> all nine, well, yeah. oh, just, it went through all nine all nine left yeah so, Poor kittens. He got pushed under. There's a blood trail. So he's trying to keep cover it up and put some shit on it. And next thing I know, he gets back on the couch. So instead of waking her up and telling her, hey, we have a problem, he knew that she would be so pissed at him that he would get kicked out. So he continued just to lay there like nothing ever fucking happened. So oh, I'm laying Christ. on my couch smiling, Jesus laughing, because I can't wait till the morning comes. <laughs> <laughs> Because I've never seen a dead cat, but it's got to fucking smell at some point. Yeah. So we're down there. We wake up. She's looking for this fucking cat. Because <laughs> she knew it was in the basement. She knew it was. We all knew it was. Where is it? I don't know, Haley. I, the last time I seen the cat, it was hanging out over there by that couch. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? You ran his ass out. Jake's like, I am I didn't see the cat over here. I don't know where it is. No, cat's not over here. It's definitely not over here. It might look anywhere else, anywhere other than this. So he's got his foot over the blood stain. Like, no, definitely not over here. So he's like, dude, we got to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> well, at this time, remember that the stepdad I told you about? The one that touches her. Yeah. <laughs> allegedly. 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 Exactly. No, not no, even no, allegedly. Not alleged. Not alleged by you and yeah, no one else. Yeah, she didn't get touched. <laughs> yeah. He's a good dude. I, just, I don't know what I'm saying. But... He walks downstairs and he has a gun in his hand because he didn't know we were downstairs. At no point did Haley tell them other than the mom and the mom didn't tell him because he would get pissed. So oh he didn't God. know. So when he came downstairs, he noticed a blood stain on the floor. Now, what goes through your mind if you're the stepdad and your daughter's down there with two dudes, by the way, and you see a blood stain on the floor? Right. Now, she's 15, right. 16 years old. So you're thinking... I mean, my mind goes, you know, 
Did she lose her identity? Is this her first time? There's fucking blood on the floor. What the fuck? Right? Ends up being the trail. He finds it, pulls the cat out. Haley's bawling. Everybody's crying. We're trying to get the fuck out of there. She wants an explanation. What happened to kittens? To kittens. <laughs> we couldn't tell her. And then Jake, What happened to kittens? Jake finally just said, all right, I'm sorry. I rolled off. Didn't know the cat was there, and I smashed it. And then I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to wake anybody up, so I pushed it underneath the couch uh. and think it would go away. And we're all like, no, dude, the cat ain't going away, dude. <laughs> I, just, I just hoped it would fade away. I just hoped it would dissolve. dissolve. Yeah, if he was smart, he should have just fucked. We should have left then and threw the cat out. Oh, the you should have left the way right, right away. You should have left right Wait, away. you didn't leave right then? No, no we he... stayed the rest oh, of the night. Oh, I'm sorry. You meant he should have left as soon as the cat oh, was smashed. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, we should have yeah, took yeah. the evidence with us and then ditched it out in the field somewhere. For sure. So yeah. It should have happened. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but, but I don't know if you would have just left a blood trail and the cat's missing and you guys disappeared in the middle of the night. That looks like serial killer shit. Yeah, I don't know if that's better. <laughs> At least they wouldn't True. have to explain it. Yeah. Well, that's to the, me, it was thing. a win-win for Eventually, me. Eventually, they would have. Her heart was broke. It was she a then win-win started as well. Closer to me, her heart was broke, and so was her hymen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't have to explain shit about the cat because I know I didn't kill it. So. But that okay. was that was one hell of a time, and that was, yeah, I've never seen that happen before. And it yeah, probably so won't. See more it of the story: again. if you fall off a couch in a three foot fall, you will smash a kitten. <laughs> I don't like how you pronouncing the kittens. Kitten, kittens. I just hope I just hope she finds this podcast. I cannot. Uh, fucking, I'm gonna tag. Okay, her so <laughs> I'm just I'm just thinking don't. about like the moment like where you explain that and like the rage in the father's eyes. Oh, he was angry, dude. Oh, dude. I never and went back. And he had a gun in his never hand. Never been back. And he had a gun in his hand. And he had a gun in his hand. I'd Why never did he have back. a gun in his hand? Because he didn't know who he was downstairs. He didn't know who was in the basement. Okay. And the mom okay. left for work, and the mom never told him that she had boys uh... over. It was crazy, yeah. So I mean, mother F, every <clears throat> word in the book, and if you come back here again, I mean, he's pointing this. It was fucked yeah. up, dude. It was fucked up. Yeah. <laughs>